A day of reflection and remembrance. One year after two people were killed and several others hurt during a shooting at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School. There were no classes today at CBPA and the neighboring Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience so students and staff could focus on healing. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. For many, it will take more than a year, if ever, to erase the memories of that day. A former student walked into the school and opened fire, killing sophomore Alexandria Bell and teacher Jean Kushka before police killed him. Seven other students were physically hurt. Everyone on campus that day is dealing with trauma. We have two reports tonight. Let's begin with Five on Your Side's Justina Cornell. She joins us live from CVPA after speaking to school leaders today. Justina. Mike and Ann, there was definitely a theme in our conversations today, and that was changes, all of the changes they've made within the last year and the momentum to keep moving forward. With every single move, CBPA students are in sync in this routine, art moving them. And I saw those young people moving and how their art was healing them. And now many are going through the motions, each one moving forward at their own pace. This is after last year, a school shooting destroyed their sense of security, taking away the lives of a teacher and student. Current board president Antoinette Tony Cousins witnessed the chaos. And instantly I said, where do you need me? Her leadership went beyond that day. Making sure if mental health was needed. Over the past year, there are new security measures in place. St. Louis Public Schools spent an extra $2.5 million for additional video surveillance, intrusion alarms, specialty doors and windows, along with more security officers paired with extra training. Fresh faces with the fresh perspective joined too. A new superintendent and new school principal. I became aware about St. Louis Public Schools, unfortunately, because of the shooting. They have a special place in my heart because that was the connection point for me. Superintendent Keisha Scarlett is ready to gear students in the right direction. Our children know different ways, you know, um, I think internally to be able to heal themselves and our job is to make sure they have the opportunities to be able to explore. They say no amount of practice prepares you for life's harshest lesson. What stands out more than anything, the resilience of the students, the staff. Yet leaders say these students and staff have worked hard to heal and will continue to keep moving through. What I know will happen is we won't stop. Um, we'll continue to rise. We'll continue to fight for the betterment of all, especially our children. Now, those leaders expressed their loves to St. Louis, saying the community has truly stepped up not only on that deadly day, but even a year out. Reporting in St. Louis, Justina Cornell, five on your side.